We Happy Few is based around the story of Arthur Hastings, attempting to leave the dystopian English town of Wellington Wells to find his brother Percy. Percy had been forcibly taken to Germany, along with the other children of the town, during World War II. The war ended in 1948, after the Soviet Union, allied with the United States against Germany, took Berlin. However, though the local newspaper would report that General Bing was in talks with the Soviet Occupation Authority about locating the children, the children would never return. The game takes place in 1964, 17 years after the children were taken to Germany, and there has been no further word about what happened to them. One of the game's endings can see Arthur leaving Wellington Wells to search for Percy, but his fate and that of the other children is never revealed by the game. So what actually happened to the children after they arrived in Germany? And if the war ended in 1948, only one year after they were taken, why is it that none of them returned? The likely answer to this question are not good, and if you are triggered by issues surrounding this error in history, I recommend exiting the video here and taking comfort in the fact that some children taken by the Germans lived their lives as adoptees of German families, and maybe this is what happened for some of the children of Wellington Wells. For those still watching, let's dive in. The idea of Germany taking children during World War II is based in reality. Many children, over half of which came from Poland, were taken from their hometowns and transported back to Germany. This was part of German policy to bolster their population with those who were believed to have some German ancestry, or just those whose appearances fit the ideal. There were people whose job it was to look for such children in occupied territories, and take them from orphanages, foster carers, and their parents, if it was believed they met this criteria. This is a different motivation than what we are seeing in We Happy Few, where the taking of children is indiscriminate, and motivated by retaining control of an occupied area. Such events did happen in World War II, but this wasn't the primary goal of Germany's child abduction policies. For children that were taken, this meant potential Germanization. They would be removed to children's camps and put through medical examinations to ensure that they were free from defects and considered to be of good blood. If they passed, they would be given new identities, complete with a German name, a new date of birth, and a new place of birth. They would also be given a new language, German, and strictly prohibited from speaking a single word of their native language. Younger children were then taken by the Lebensborn Association of the SS. Lebensborn was dedicated to increasing the number of Aryan children, initially through encouraging and establishing programs to increase the number of German women having children. It then took on a role with integrating young foreign children into German society by adopting them out to German families, while older children may remain in group homes. With the focus on securing children who are deemed biologically valuable, this raises the question of what happened to the children like Percy. We see in We Happy Few that Percy has some developmental difficulties. He is Arthur's older brother, but we see through Arthur's memories that Percy isn't capable of taking care of himself, and Arthur has been taking on something of a carer role for Percy. Even Percy's ID has been written on to inform people that Percy is, quote, a bit dim and can't be roaming around on his own. Arthur is not going to find Percy. Children who were taken for potential Germanization were put through physical and psychological testing. In order to be deemed worthy of becoming German, they had to pass 62 tests, and this was not easy. To take an example of how difficult it was for a child to pass this examination, if they were not handpicked, we can take a look at the example of Laditzia. Laditzia was a small Czechoslovakian town, which was targeted for annihilation in retaliation for the assassination of SS General Reinhard Heydrich. Males over the age of 15 were killed, women over the age of 16 were sent to a camp, children under the age of 1 were sent to orphanages, and all other children of the town were sent to a German-occupied city in Poland for screening. 80 or 81 of these children failed the examination and were removed to the Kelmo Extermination Center. The nine remaining children, the nine children who passed the examination, were placed in a German group home, given new identities, taught to speak only in German, and then placed in adoptive German families. It is likely that some of the children of Wellington Wells would be accepted for the adoption program. But the children of Wellington Wells, like the children of Laditzia, were not handpicked based on their physical characteristics. The chance that they all survive the selection process are zero. Percy would not. For children that did survive, getting them home after the war may not be easy. After World War II, the Red Cross stepped in to try and repatriate children, but their task was very difficult. Young children often did not even know at that point that they were not German. 
They did not know they ever had a different name, and the records were often lost or destroyed. So all some of these children had was their fake name and date of birth, that they fully believed were their own. It is possible that some of the younger children of Wellington Wells may fall into this category. The only cause for hope is that the world of We Happy Few has some differences to the real world. Notably, it is Johannes Erwin Rommel who is Few of Germany in this world. It may be that Rommel's Germany was more lenient towards children, but given the timeline, that nothing had been heard of the children after the end of the war, when they have only been gone a year at that time, not nearly long enough for the older ones to forget, it doesn't look good. But let me know what you think. Do you think that Arthur will ever find out what happened to his brother? And do you think that any of Wellington Wells' children could have survived?